Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix a fatal error for this game on Windows. It's pretty easy to fix, so try not to skip any steps. The first step, of course, is to update your graphics driver. I'm not going to show you how to do that, uh, uh, but uh, do it if you haven't done it already. The next thing I would recommend after you have done that is to reset the GPU overclocking. Um, the GPU overclocking tends to uh, trigger this out of video memory error and things like that. So how do you do that? Use the NVIDIA control panel. If you do not have it and you have an NVIDIA card, I recommend it. In the NVIDIA control panel, open it up, go to uh, manage 3D settings right here and go to settings and uh, click on uh, restore defaults. The next thing you want to do uh, after this, go to global settings here and increase the shader cache size. So scroll down, you should see in shader and cache size, mine is unlimited, but set it to at least 10 gigabytes. If the issues persist, then set this to disable, hit apply, and then re-enable to enable the cache, hit apply and restart the game. The next thing you want to try is to delete config files. Why do you want that? Corrupted configuration files can cause startup errors. Uh, so open file explorer, go to C or whatever your main drive is. Go to users, go to whatever username that you are currently logged in as. Go to app data. This might be in, uh, invisible for you. Go to view, show hidden items if it is. Go to app data double click on this go to local go to uh, a folder called s b i believe it is yes here it is sb and from sb go to saved and from here go to config from here go to windows no editor and you want to click on all of these files and delete them yes uh, delete them then launch the game to regenerate the fresh uh, config files. This resets the graphics and control settings, so you need to configure them once again in game. But uh, try that to see if that fixes the issue. By the way, uh, I would suggest uh, capping the frame rate to match your monitor. Uh, if your frame rate mismatches the monitor or if it is uh, too high for the monitor, it will crash the game. So how do you do that? Uh, go to Again, go to NVIDIA, control panel, click on manage 3D settings on the left hand side, program settings this time. From here you want to uh, add split gate, I'm sorry, stellar blade, right here. And from here uh, you'll see something called max frame rate. Make sure that this is on and that this is lower than whatever your PC can handle. So this would be for me, uh, 144, I believe. So for example, if, uh, if it's a 60 Hertz monitor, 60 FPS, it's a 120 Hertz monitor, 120 FPS. Alternatively, uh, you can go to in-game uh, graphics, enable V-Sync or set a frame rate cap, and that should do it as well. The next step is to verify integrity of game files. Go back to Steam, right click on the game, go to properties, go to installed files and click on verify integrity of game files. This takes a couple of minutes to complete, but basically it looks for any corrupted files and automatically replaces them. By the way, since you're here, I would go to general and I would uh, disable Steam overlay. I would also disable Steam overlay for Nvidia and Discord as well, since it doesn't play well with Unreal Engine games. If nothing else has worked, I would recommend disabling the XMP profile in the BIOS. I'm not going to go into too much how to do that. Basically restart your PC, usually by holding delete F2 or something similar. Locate XMP settings or overclocking settings and disable SMP or set RAM to default speeds. And that is it. Uh, this should have fixed your problem. If it did, I would hopefully uh, recommend that you sub to my channel. It would really help me. I would really appreciate it. Everyone have a nice day. See you in the next one.